Our next presenter is a teacher from Greenwood Elementary in YZ. Please welcome Ellie Steffen. Thank you. So this is where you guys all come when you tell your teachers you're at a conference all day. Uh, but no, I get it, free coffee, no kids. Um, I'm honored to be here today. I said, I think the only teacher speaking on MESPA speech, or speaks today. Um, I'm honored to be here. My favorite part about talking to principals like you guys is when you rave about the amazing work that your teachers are doing in your building to help your students and to help you. And today I'm here to tell you to return the favor to help us help you. Um, how principals can empower teacher leaders in your buildings. At YZ, we are required to list our learning targets at the beginning of every lesson. So these are our takeaways or our learning targets for today. And I would love it if someone could take a picture of these and tweet them out at, at Gustafson Brad, who's not here today, and just so I can prove to him, Dr. G, I have my, I have my learning targets up. <laughs> so these are... <laughs> I'll do it. I'm serious. He's not here. Do it. <laughs> um, these are hopefully the inspiring um, opportunities I'm going to leave you with today of things you can bring back to your building to empower and to encourage your teacher leaders. Someone, someone get it? Okay. So just a couple weeks ago, actually, I graduated from the University of St. Mary's with a master's in educational leadership. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, a donation basket will be coming around to, <laughs> to pay off my student loans. Just got that bill a week ago. Yikes. Um, this specific master's program focused on leadership, supervision, management, and becoming a transformational change agent in the world of education today, which is exactly what I want to do and what I want to be. Over 200 people graduated from this specific program alone this year. Um, from St. Mary's in that specific program, which is incredible. And we, including myself, all come back to our schools and we're feeling pumped, we're feeling inspired, and we kind of get to this scene, and which is how I kind of feel right now. There's a lot of work to get to where I kind of want to be, and it could be easier, if you will, to turn back and continue on as a teacher, but that's just not how I think as a teacher leader. So that's where you guys come in. We can't be transformational change agents without your help. Help us help you. Um, but with that being said, you can't be the principals you can be without us. I want to encourage you today to locate the teacher leaders in your buildings and to be aware of their hopes and dreams, if you will, their passions, their interests, their career goals. And then most importantly, I want you to consider their opportunities and their paths to reach those goals. Are there opportunities and paths? I know at the elementary level, the progression to leadership roles and administration looks a little different than it would at the middle school level or the high school level. So this is a quote from George Koros that I'm gonna show you later in my speech, but it's about teachers, empowering teachers with the use of technology specifically and Twitter. Um, and this is one of the ways that you guys can empower your teacher leaders at your school with um, technology, one, and with Twitter. Raise your hand if you guys do Twitter at your schools, if your teachers do it. Awesome. So um, at our school, we created a hashtag, GWGreats, which is extremely easy, quick, and powerful to do. All of us teachers tweet at GWGreats every day, and we have created this database, if you will, of the amazing things that we're doing, videos, student pictures, all that great stuff. Um, it's a really easy way to amplify student voice or, and amplify teacher voice, more importantly. Um, and without Twitter, I've, I've been able to, well, with Twitter, I've been able to do some really cool things with the help and empowerment of my principal. I've been able to speak with classrooms around the country, um, authors around the country, and again, it's a really easy, powerful tool you can do. Another way to amplify teacher voice is to allow them to try and fail, if you will. Um, as a teacher, I can tell you that there are obviously not enough hours in the day. We are so focused on teaching math, teaching reading. There's a new curriculum. We don't have time to do those cool things and to try and fail and think of something fun. And with you guys, we can finally do that and be empowered to try new things. These, this is a, um, um, 
language arts model pedagogy that two um, teachers in my school started. It's called PICE, Personalized, Independent, Connected E-Learning. It's a way of teaching language arts, kind of similar to Daily Five. And with the empowerment and encouragement of our principal, they were able to get this off the ground. They shared it in a PD with our whole entire building, and now they've shared it across the state of Minnesota as a new cool way to teach language arts. Uh, another way to empower your teacher leaders in your building would be to encourage them and to allow them to share or highlight their interests and passions, if you will. Shed light on those personal things they do that you might not be aware of. We have an art teacher at our school named Beth Jocelyn who has created this mindfulness yoga movement at our school. She holds uh, meditation mindfulness, cl mindfulness classes for our teachers at the end of every school day. And she's also, those are two Twitter pictures I tweeted. Um, left is my class doing yoga before MCA testing. And the right is some breathing techniques she taught my kids before they did some genius hour public speaking. So just an amazing example of the teachers that could be in your school that could share talents like this. Um, another way to amplify teacher voice and to empower your teacher leaders is allow them to share their um, interests and what they believe is important through PD opportunities, um, committees, or groups. Last year, a group of teachers at my school decided that we needed an equity team that our classrooms are becoming more, and di more diverse each year and that we need to have courageous conversations with other teachers about how to best support these new families and these new students. So every month, um, this equity team, empowered by our principal, supported by our principal, but led by teachers, meets once a week for the equity meeting. We also have a leadership team at our school, which is something that I serve on, which I think is amazing. Um, we have one rep from each grade level. Again, we meet once a month, and gone are the days, kind of, where our principal drops a bomb on us, if you will, at a staff meeting that, you know, we're changing this or we're changing that, because at these leadership meetings, we are making those decisions as team level reps. We're going back to our teams, gathering information, discussing, and then making the decisions with our principal together, which is pretty powerful. Finally, I think the biggest ask I have of you today as a hopeful um, teacher leader, future teacher leader, is to physically create new leadership positions and experiences for your teachers in your building that might not um, be there, if you will. I personally feel like um, at my school, we have over 800 kids and I see a need for some sort of dean of students, student services, counselor position. And, um, as a teacher, I feel as though I'm in the trenches every day seeing that. And we might not have that yet, and that might not be something um, that is normal for the elementary administration structure, but I'm working hard with my principal in order to do that. So, as promised, I want to bring you back to this quote. What if every teacher tweeted one thing a day that they did in their classroom to a school hashtag, and they took five minutes out of their day to read each other's tweets? What impact would that have on learning and school culture? Well, I tweaked it a little bit to leave it with you guys today, um, to empower you to go back to your buildings for your teacher leaders. And the quote is, what if every principal took five minutes a day to tap into teacher leadership or talent in a new and meaningful way? Maybe one of the ways that I mentioned today. What impact would that have on staff morale student learning, and school culture. I think it would be super powerful. Thank you so much for your guys' time today. I look forward to talking to some of you later. Have a great day.